In this video, we're going to finish out the compound inequalities worksheet on CUDA software website, Infinite Algebra 1 free worksheets. Number 13 is negative 36 is less than 3p minus 6, which is less than negative 15. Go ahead and add 6 to the left, middle, and right. That'll cancel out the 6 in the middle because that'll equal 0. The left side will be negative 30. You'll be left with 3p in the middle, and then the right side will be negative 9. Divide everything by 3, and you'll get negative 10 is less than p, which is less than negative 3. Remember, this can be written as an and compound inequality, so we're doing the intersection. Negative 10 is less than p, which is less than negative 3. So shade everything between those two points, leaving them both open. In number 14, negative 1 minus 10a is less than negative 1, or 10 plus 3a is less than or equal to negative 5. I'm going to add 1 to both sides on this left inequality to get that negative 10a is less than 0. When I divide by negative 10, I get that a, flipping the inequality, is greater than 0. In this right inequality, I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides to get that 3a is less than or equal to negative 15. Then, when I divide by 3, I'll get that a is less than or equal to negative 5. So we have a is greater than 0, or a is less than or equal to negative 5. So a is greater than 0, I'm going to circle 0 and shade everything to the right. Or a is less than or equal to negative 5, I'm going to do circle negative 5, fill it in, and shade everything to the left. Number 15, 3n plus 2 is less than negative 2 plus 7n, or 8n minus 4 is less than or equal to 3n minus 4. So we have two different inequalities combined with or. Working on the left first, I'm going to subtract 3n from both sides to get that 2 is less than negative 2 plus 4n. Then I'm going to add 2 to get that 4 is less than 4n, and finally divide by 4. 1 is less than n. Now I'm going to work on the right inequality. I'm going to start by subtracting 3n. 5n minus 4 is less than or equal to negative 4. Then I'll add 4 to both sides to get that 5n is less than or equal to 0. And when I divide by 5, Finally, I'll get that n is less than or equal to 0. So I have that 1 is less than n, or n is less than or equal to 0. So 1 is less than n. I'm going to circle the 1 and shade everything to the right, since n is greater than 1, or n is less than or equal to 0. I'm going to circle the 0 fill that in, and shade everything to the left. Number 16, I have 8r minus 5 is greater than or equal to 6r minus 1, or 4 plus 4r is less than or equal to 3r minus 3. I'm going to start by subtracting 6r from the right, and then I'll do that as well on the left-hand side to get 2r, and this will be 0, and then I'll go ahead and add 5. This will be 0, and whatever I do to the left, I'll do to the right, so adding 5 to the right, I'll get 2r is greater than or equal to 4, since negative 1 plus 5 equals a positive 4. Then I'll divide by 2 and have r is greater than or equal to 2. Now, working on my right inequality, I'm going to subtract 3r from the right, and from the left. That will become 0, so I'll go ahead and subtract 4 
so that this will become zero. Whatever I do to the left, I do to the right. So now I'll have one term on each side of the inequality. 4r minus 3r is r, and that's going to be less than or equal to negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. So I'll have r is greater than or equal to 2, or r is less than or equal to negative 7. Circle the 2, fill it in, shade everything to the right, circle the negative 7, fill it in, and shade everything to the left. Number 17, 5x minus 5 is greater than negative 7x minus 5, or 3x plus 5 is less than or equal to x minus 1. This is an or compound inequality, so we're going to find the union. I'm going to add 7x to both sides, and I want only one term on this left, so I'll go ahead and add 5 to both sides as well. 5x plus 7x is 12x, and that's greater than negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Divide by 12 to get that x is greater than 0. 3x plus 5 is less than or equal to x minus 1. I want one term on each side of the inequality. So I'll subtract an x from both sides so that this becomes 0, and I'll subtract a 5 from both sides so that this becomes 0. So I'll have 3x minus x, which is 2x, and that's going to be less than or equal to negative 6. Divide by 2 to get that x is less than or equal to negative 3. So my final answer is x is greater than 0, or x is less than or equal to negative 3. Circling the 0, shading everything to the right, and circling and filling in the negative 3, shading everything to the left. And on to the last problem for this compound inequalities worksheet. 6 plus 7m is less than 6m minus 5, or 3m minus 7 is less than 5 plus 6m. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 6m from both sides. That way this term becomes 0, and I'll go ahead and subtract the 6 from both sides. That way this term becomes 0. So I only have one term on each side of the inequality. I have 1m, which is m on the left, and I'll have negative 11 on the right. So I have m is less than negative 11. Now I'll work on the right inequality. I'm going to subtract 3m so that this term becomes 0, and I want this 5 to become 0, so I'm going to subtract 5 from it. Negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12, and that's going to be less than 3m. All I have left to do is divide by 3 to get that negative 4 is less than m. I have m is less than negative 11, or I have that m is greater than negative 4. So I'm going to find the negative 11, circle that, and shade everything to the left, and then I'm going to find the negative 4, circle that, and shade everything to the right. And that wraps up this worksheet. Remember to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video. Also, please comment below so I know what I need to go more in depth on explaining or if you just have a general question.